So what's happened in Progada syndrome? There is inactivating mutation in the sodium channel, resulting in premature sodium channel closure that affects mainly the epicardium. This results in a voltage gradient between the epicardium and endocardium during the plateau phase, generating an electrical current directed towards the epicardium, reflected as a positive deflection in the precordial ECG electrodes shown as ST elevation. An additional mechanism that delays activation of the long-lasting calcium channels in the plateau phase, resulting in prominent action potential dome in certain areas, while other areas don't have this dome due to failed activation of these calcium channels or increased I2 current of phase 1 of the repolarization. There is a prominent voltage gradient between certain sites in the heart, as we can see here the epicardium is the main area to be affected, and other areas may have action potential dome this result in voltage gradient and phase 2 re-entrance circuits that can result in VT or FNDF and sudden cardiac death.